Okay? No, it's not okay. You can do it. Think of all the four little Oh my god, I'm okay. Are you? Yes, I am. Laura, where do you want me to go? In the big one. Yeah, sorry. Do you want me to record it? Somebody else can poke me It doesn't matter. It's not you. You don't want to poke me far. I don't know. My sister's nervous. I'm a wimpy nurse. I can do all these things to patients, but I'm the wimpy nurse. Yes, but. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh God. Oh look at mine. I forgot I was sunburned. From my vacation. Right there. There's a feeling right there. Good morning and welcome back to Jenny's Journey. Um, I did not open the vlog up yesterday because I was going to do a week in a life, but then I decided not to do it in a week in a life. But then I was like, I'm going to want to record my experience and my reaction because yesterday, as you guys saw, I got my first dose of the COVID-19 vaccine and I did get the Pfizer, um, the COVID vaccine clinic that I'm working at, we are mixing and administering and giving the Pfizer vaccine. So that is the one I got. My best friend, Janar, um, she scheduled her appointment for yesterday. So I picked up a shift and so that we can both get it on the same day. Um, so yeah, that's where we are. We are at, um, so today's day one. Um, and I, only thing I'm really feeling is my arm is extremely sore and, um, like I can't even lay on it and it just really hurts to lift it. So that's where we are as far as, I guess, side effects, if you want to say or so. Um, I can't say if I'm tired from the vaccine because I was up 23 hours yesterday. Um, I was editing 
part two of my Jamaica birthday vlog. Make sure you go watch it there. Um, oh my gosh, we had so much fun in Jamaica. And don't forget to, of course, go watch part one. I'm getting ready to edit part three. So by the time this comes out, all three are there. Make sure you check out the Fashion Nova haul too. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to do a quick check-in. Um, I'll probably go ahead and just, since I am, since I got the vaccine, go ahead and make it a weekend of life. So I'll pick it up here and there just to guys, so you guys can see what my um, symptoms, side effects are if I have any at all. And look, oh my gosh, I like seeing like all the, I can't wait to see the third one and see all the thumbnails together, y'all. We had so much fun. So make sure you go watch it. But yeah, I am getting ready, like I said, to just kind of chill for a little minute, finish editing part three, so that I can get it up, which is days three through five. The fifth day is really us leaving, so I don't even know. But anyway, I am not gonna be what? Long-winded. Good morning, and it is day two after I've gotten my COVID-19 vaccine, and I feel fine. My arm was super sore all day yesterday, even last night, and now it's feeling better. So I will just continue to check in, the brief little snippets to tell you guys how I'm doing. As of now, I'm still doing good. So I'm gonna have breakfast this morning, um, and happy, Happy Thursday, today is Thursday, and get it ready to make me some French toast, eggs, and sausage, and chill out before I go to work. Um, and I'm going to be editing my Jamaica vlog. They're all already out by the time this comes out, so make sure you guys go show them some love. Right there. <laughs> anyway, still doing good. I'll check in later. and happy happy Saturday so today is day four after I've received my first dose of my Pfizer vaccine and I still have just a tiny bit of arm pain or muscle um, aches and pain in my arm that I received my vaccine in um, if I move it the wrong way if I lay on it the wrong way but other than that um, no like other side effects like I said I can't attribute my um, restlessness or tiredness to the vaccine because I work a lot and that could easily, like I feel the same way when I overdo it at work. So um, yeah, so today, 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 I just went, to, went and picked up some food for my friend Mary. Thank you, Mary. Um, I'm so happy to finally share with you guys. Make sure you follow me over on Janine's Journey on Instagram because I just, um, not just, but yesterday I posted my new collaboration, my new partnership with Teeny Blends and I got a lot of work that I need to do today and I just, I really want to rest, but we're going to get to it. So, um, I am going, let me just show you, let me just show you. All right, let me set you guys up. Woo, and it's so cute because I'm wearing a green shirt today. Oh, I got a little stain on it. Oh, man. Oh, but I got this um, detox mask, this green tea blend here, and it is supposed to, so this is a detox mask and it's supposed to help cleanse and detoxify your skin and bring all impurities from your pores to the surface. Like remove like all these impurities from your pores. And right now, you guys know I am still working two jobs. I think here in the next month or two, I'm gonna just go down to just my nurse practitioner job. I know, I am a workaholic, but um, I am working two jobs and some days I do both jobs which puts me at working 15 hour days and if I tell you that I never had acne before in life you guys wouldn't believe me but I, I have not had any issues with my skin besides um, when I was younger my skin being dry um, now my skin is kind of combination dry and oily it's dry in certain spots but it's like super oily whenever I do wear makeup that I've noticed now 
and I never noticed that before. My skin was just always dry. I also um, suffer from seborrheic dermatitis in my scalp, so like. I just naturally have really dry and scaly skin. I've tried to increase my water intake to help with it, but my skin is just typically dry. But <laughs> I say all that to say, um, now with wearing the mask 15 plus hours a day, most of the day, especially as a healthcare worker, I have been developing a lot of acne, like lots of blemishes and pustules and um yeah like just acne and red and you know painful and like I said I never had that issue before so I'm hoping that this green tea um detox mask is going to kind of help combat some of this adult acne that I'm dealing with and cleanse and purify my pores and add moisture hopefully add some moisture back into my face oh this is cool so this is the brush So this is the brush. This is the mask applicator um, brush. This is, I don't know what I thought it was gonna be. I honestly thought it was gonna be like a makeup brush and I was thinking, how the heck am I gonna wash this? But it's a silicone. A silicone tip. It's pretty cool, right? All right, and then, oh my gosh, y'all. This mask smells so good. Oh my gosh, like perfect for like a good self-care day and oh yeah, so. I decided to get into doing my hair. I wanna do a bun for tomorrow when me and Marie go to brunch and yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply the mask. Oh, this smells so good. You can definitely smell the organic green tea, the lemongrass, and it's made with bentonite clay. And like I said before, it's supposed to be used as a fine mask that's gonna rid your pores of all its impurities while adding back moisture and all the superfood. I'm um, adding back into your skin the superfood nutrients that it needs. So oh gosh, this just smells so good. I'm just I just wanna um, apply it so that it can be closer to my face. Anyway, and it's funny because sometimes my face be looking dry. And I think it's gonna be really good, especially with me just coming back from Jamaica. I need to be waxed again. Anyway, hey. Um, you can tell like I have some blemishes here from the mask knee. Um, oh my God, it feels so good. I said before, I haven't had many skin problems before. Oh, it's so cool. Feels so good. Can't even focus. Anyway. I haven't had many skin problems. Um, I didn't have acne as a kid. The only skin problem, like I said, I really had to um, deal with um, long term has been my dry skin. Um, I would get like really, really bad dry patches around my nose area and then it would be red and, but I haven't had to experience many problems like with, like I said, acne and blemishes until now. Cause this maskini is no joke. I love this brush actually. And I think, I know normally people don't apply the mask to like the eyebrow area, but that's another one of my problem dry areas and it gets really, really dry. I'm really, really dry. Like dandruff like in my eyebrows, that's one other issue. So that's why I'm like, oh my gosh, this dry skin has got to go. Cause you would literally see my brows visibly flaking and it's like, oh girl, like, you got dandruff in your eyebrows. So. Yeah, I just cannot get over how good this one. As you see, I'm taking my mask down my neck. 
Um, for the simple fact is that's how I apply my makeup and I am going to be putting on makeup before me and Maria go to brunch tomorrow. <laughs> I look like Jim Carrey from the mask. <sighs> how old am I? You guys already know. <laughs> All right. Drop a green heart down in the comments if you used to, I used to like actually like that movie. Anyway, it is 11, 12 at night. We're gonna let this dry. And it's gonna take about 10 to 15 minutes. Oh, y'all. Oh, it smells so good. We had such a good time for our birthday. Okay, anyway, it's really weird seeing myself in this green mask. So I will see you guys when it's done drying. And it's gonna be like 5.2 seconds for you. <laughs> It is not quite dry, so I'm gonna give it another five minutes because as you can tell, some places I went a little thicker, not knowingly. So we are I'm gonna wait another five minutes. Can you guys oh there he is so you can see those are my pores there. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I just can't get over how, I just, I love how the mask smell. Like, oh, it smells so good and so fresh. I need you in the candle. <laughs> you know, been this up close and personal on Janine's journey. <laughs> All right, let's wash this off so I can get in the bed and Get some rest so that I can enjoy myself at brunch tomorrow. Alrighty, this is the after. And my face does actually feel pretty good. But so my face does feel soft, softer. Especially in the areas where it's usually feeling a little rough. But this is just my first time using it. I'm gonna use it a few more times and let you guys know exactly how I like it after using it for a few more weeks so that I can give you a true and honest opinion because over here on Junior's Journey, I always wanna give you guys correct and accurate information like I always say. So, all right, I'm gonna get ready for bed um, because I'm excited about brunch tomorrow. Ooh, good morning. She a baddie. She a baddie. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I really do wake up like this sometimes. Actually, I've been up for quite some time. Well, not even quite some time. I've only been up for hours. So, I guess I do wake up like this when I'm in a good mood. Yes. Hi. Happy, happy Sunday and happy Easter, everyone. To those who celebrate, um, me and Maria are going for an Easter brunch. And I want to get on here because... <laughs> I've been watching the vlogs, the Jamaica vlogs, yes. I keep talking about them. They're all linked up above. But I want to see if she has on pink today. So we're getting ready to go around there to get her in a little bit. I just need to get my things. So I'm um, going to go around the corner and get her. I need some flats uh, for when we leave brunch. Hopefully I can make it. And y'all, all my pictures are gone. So I'm thinking about looking at mixed towels and getting those to put on the wall. So anywho, let's go get Maria. Let's see how she's gonna pick up the phone. You sound dead. I'm not ready. What time do I need to come in? 1245. 1247. 1247? I said put my clothes on. You did your makeup? Yep, I just need to literally put my clothes on. Well, then I'm coming now. She has on when she walks out. does not have on pink. Oh, but this jumper, 
I am stealing it. It's so cute. Then I was like, first of all, let them see the back. No. Yes! Oh, I love this jumpsuit. Oh, they got like, ooh, she's so cute. Y'all tell Maria she's a baddie in the comments. This camera I don't have on pink today. Clearly, I, why she come out the house from in pink? And I wanted to wear this in Jamaica, but I can smell it. It smells like the room. <laughs> When I took my shoes out my bag, I cannot believe you don't have on heels today. You want me to go put them on? No. Okay, because we don't have time to put them on. We're not that late. I set 12.45 early on purpose. Okay. So yeah. that, because I know you are late all the time. I know where they at. They told you going back to town. That's okay, because we're about to be fine, fine too. Take a um picture for the thumbnail. You're not gonna say nothing about my bun? I did, I said it in the door before you. I said, oh, you did do a bun! And my battery's going <laughs> dead, of course. But you had the window wind up when I screamed it. Oh. <laughs> well, we can text Happy Easter when he see you. Smile. <laughs> check-in um no symptoms <laughs> um nothing much but today 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 i'm finally filming for you mom <laughs> the um red beans and rice recipe and let's go ahead and get in to it i made this a million trillion times when i was in baltimore if you follow me on instagram you already know that, so make sure you go follow me over on Instagram on Janine's Journey and you would see that I made red beans and, mom, red beans and rice from mom when I was in Baltimore all January for um, studying for my board. I think I made it for like three or four times. Some outrageous number. <laughs> but anything for my mom and I'm finally going to have this recipe for you mom so you can make it for yourself, okay? So...
Oh God. Y'all, I've been this thing tired. I don't have on any lights. I probably should turn on some lights, but you can see me, you can see me. There's enough sunlight the way you can see me to where you can see me. So, dinner's done. It's real spicy this time. That's because I didn't measure. <laughs> I just shake, 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 but it's all right. As always, I will leave the recipe in the description box. You saw everything that I used, but of course, I. And as always, the recipe is linked down below. So, I'm actually going to make me some rice, um, some jasmine rice, and I am going to lay on the couch until it's time to go to work. So, see you guys later. Hi you guys and happy happy Tuesday today's April 6th Joanne's birthday happy birthday Juju I actually just pulled up to um, this place here in Tampa over on Davis Island where we're gonna have a picnic you know these little things are in so of course I'll show you when we get closer what it looks like but I just wanted to do a check-in I really didn't vlog at work um, this week um because i did a few doubles at the urgent care i mean between the vaccine clinic and the urgent care i'll link up above what i do um at the urgent care and at the vaccine clinic up above here um but i did want to give you guys um a week in a life of you know what i do outside of work so like yeah so I go to brunches, I go to birthday parties. <laughs> um, and I am still trying to establish a new routine. I will probably stop working at the vaccine clinic here soon just to see how I could sustain on my nurse practitioner salary. Um, to see like what it would be like working as a you know just the one job because the vaccine clinic there are lots of changes and it's honestly isn't going to last forever so I'm still looking for full-time employment as a pediatric nurse practitioner hopefully in a pediatrician's office um soon um yeah like that's just kind of what this week has been um the volume of patients is definitely picking up at the urgent care which is another reason why i'm like okay be able to work both jobs because especially last night last night i was stuck in traffic due to an accident for two hours and i didn't get home to after midnight and then like if i had i didn't go get home to after midnight i didn't get to bed until two then i would have had to get up three hours later to get to my vaccine clinic job so i just don't think it's the most healthiest thing to do and plus i want to start a new workout regimen that i'm going to bring you guys along on meal prepping and and things like that um honestly i was really vlogging um because i got my vaccine as you guys saw my first dose of my pfizer vaccine and i wanted to kind of document if i had any side effects or symptoms and um like i said the only thing that i had was the arm pain and then of course when i get my second um dose of my vaccine i will bring you guys along for that just to see um you know how I my body was able to tolerate it because I let jet skiing out here. I can't wait to show you the picnic and hello. Hey, what you doing? Getting ready to go to Joanne's birthday picnic. Oh, birthday picnic! She having a birthday picnic on the Tuesday. Her birthday's today. Uh -huh. Her mom's talking about so um, none of y'all have jobs. She's talking we all nurses and we all off today. That's what I'm trying to figure out how. Huh? I don't know. But you guys, spam the comments and tell Joanne happy birthday. Hey. <laughs> hey. 
Yeah, look at the tongue. It's a bug. I heard it. <laughs> 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 Jet setter. Oh <laughs> she can't even get up here. <laughs> I need a thumbnail. Hold on. <laughs> oh yeah, but my neighbor just bought a boat. <laughs> All right, thumbnail on three. One, two, three. Oh, can I show you my Yes, you surely yes, can. We're coming here with you guys, babe. Breaking. Between me and Jake, you're here. Yes, we see you. Act like you like us. There you go. Airport. You look so cute. Oh, they do. You do departures. <laughs> OMG. Oh. And this is why I go so hard. This is why I go hard. And just like that, I had to, um, I'm here at work. <laughs> it's like, I don't wanna say today never happened, but today never happened. And now I'm at the clinic getting ready to edit this video actually. So it could be up on Thursday. And then once the clinic opens, then I'll see patients. Y'all, I'm gonna try to wear my natural hair. She changed me, so I wonder how long it's gonna be before it changes me over. But anyway, let's see. So I worked all of last week. I worked Tuesday through Friday because I. Hey, what did I work last week? I worked Monday through Friday last week. So let's go back to this week. We'll start from Monday, even though technically the vlog started on Tuesday. So. On Monday, we saw, I saw, cause it's just me, I'm the only one provider here working at a time. On Monday, I saw 14. Tuesday, I saw 15. Yeah, those days, both of those were pretty busy days. So Monday, Tuesday, and then Tuesday was the day that I got my injection when the vlog started. And then Wednesday, I saw nine. Thursday, seven. Friday six. I thought we like saw seven or eight, so six. And on Friday I saw oh a good conjunctivitis, otitis media, UTI, otitis media, and then COVID nineteen screening. And then I worked yesterday and I saw fifteen. I saw um a cyst, pharyngitis, a really good case of UTI and his urine was orange and there is two medications that i know of that turns your well one that i only knew of last night which was pyridium so that turns your urine bright 
red, orange, and it stains your toilet. I've seen that in the um, acute care setting. Um, and this kid's urine was orange. She was not on pyridium. Um, they were not on pyridium. And then I called my mentor. I'm like, listen, like I, I thought when my MA did the um, your analysis that she was, I thought she said like he didn't have a UTI. So I'm like, if he doesn't have a UTI, then why is his urine orange? But um, the kid ended up having a UTI and Azo can turn your urine orange as well. So that's just a FYI. Azo is sold over the counter to help with painful um, urination as well. And um, let's see. So really cool. I mean, oh. yeah, that was, that was, I wish I had it to show it to y'all, but that was cool. It was it was super duper orange. Allergic rhinitis, um, foreign body um, in the eye, where oh, I was able to use the um, fluorescein. So what you do is you instill fluorescein ophthalmic. You use these strips to turn the eyeball like a yellowish. Um, color so that you can see if there is any corneal abrasions and then you use a black light um, use a black light to see if there is in any trauma to the eye and yeah that was pretty cool I saw some cool stuff um, COVID, 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 otitis media, COVID, COVID, um, ringworm on the body, otitis media, COVID, 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 COVID. Yeah, so I saw 15 patients last night. And yeah, so I wonder how many we'll see. Of course, I'll let you know at the end of the vlog tonight. Oh, and oh, I forgot to tell you, I forgot to tell you. I was stuck in traffic for two hours last night. I didn't get home to 12.30. I left here at 10. Didn't get home until 12.30. And I usually get home maybe at the time of night that I leave, like maybe 30 minutes. And so yeah, two hours later I got home and it was a really bad accident on the, where all four lanes were blocked. So we were having to like get over like on the shoulder to like go around the accident and oh my gosh thank you to Joanne and Maria because it was so late last night I was like I I need to talk to somebody before I broke down and like had a panic attack because <laughs> I was just stuck sitting there oh MG anywho let me edit this vlog and yeah see you in the next clip Oh yeah, this could all be over, we're not okay, shattered glass everywhere, tears of rage, waiting for the rain to stop, and take my pain away, why'd you have to be that mean, why'd you do me that way, we should know that we won't be any better, can't you see that we are drifting apart? I am through trying to hold us together. I just want it to stop, want it to stop. Ah, uh -huh. smoke spirals off your cigarette. Ah, uh -huh. door slam to figure silhouettes. Is this over? Is this over? Is this over? Can this be over now? Is this over? Is this over? Is this over? Can this be over now? Baby, I surrender. I can take it anymore. I don't want to remember. Just want to let it all go. Waiting for a new day When I won't feel no pain You will have to let me go So I can be myself again We should know that we won't be any better now. Can't you see that we are drifting apart I am through trying to hold us together I just want it to stop Want it to stop No 
smoke spirals off your cigarette. Aha, door slam to figure silhouette. Come on, say, is this over? Good morning and happy, happy Wednesday. Oh shoot, I forgot to close out the vlog last night um, and tell you guys how many patients I saw. I ended up seeing 10 patients last night. Um, a bunch of COVID testing, a bunch of otitis media. Um, just some really good otitis media that I haven't seen like in a while. Like. Uh, pretty erythematous, which is red, and pretty, um, a lot of like pus. And I think that's really much it last night. COVID, upper um, URI, upper respiratory infection. Um, that is it for today's vlog. And as always, thank you guys for tuning in to Jenny's journey. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you leave any comments you have down below. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you tell a friend. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Woo! And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Nothing happened. Can you bring me a pink mask? The day I put on heels, the day you put on flats. Oh, look at the back. I'm falling, falling. I'm falling. Look at you on your skate. In the club, falling, falling. Girl with the falling, falling. Okay, wait a minute. I think that was your earring. No, it wasn't. It was a bug. I heard it. <laughs>